Reducing the amount of salt hidden in what we eat is meant to be a top priority for the food industry. But research by health campaigners has discovered that in all of these everyday products, levels of salt have actually risen. We've got a target level of six grams a day. That's because salt is linked to blood pressure, heart disease, strokes and some cancers. Now we want to bring the risks of those down and that's where manufacturers really have a responsibility to help us. We are going to use a familiar salty snack, crisps, to illustrate what's changed. Six years ago, this tomato soup contained the same salt as four bags of crisps. Now it's got six bags worth. This cornflake box contained the same salt as eight bags of crisps four years ago. Now it's got 11 bags worth. And five years ago, this loaf had the salt of around 10 crisp packets. Today, the salt is equivalent to 14 packs of crisps. Manufacturers say these are the exception, not the rule. There's thousands of products that have been reformulated, thousands of tonnes coming out of our salt. Even those products that were identified fit within the guidelines, so there's no problem. We continue to make the progress. What are you putting into your bodies? As well as offering the public advice, the government has asked food firms to sign up to a voluntary code to remove salt from their products. But campaigners say today's findings strengthen the argument for a tougher approach. Essentially, the food industry are allowed to police themselves under the responsibility deal. So what we really need is an independent agency taking control of sugar, salt and fat reduction and setting mandatory targets so we actually see some progress. If, as a nation, we could cut our salt intake by just one gram, 4,000 early deaths would be prevented. And the people who make our food can make a big difference.